Hello, um, welcome back to the IEC's YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to do another part of our series of meeting the teachers in the IEC. Today we're going to introduce a teacher who's currently teaching pre-level one classes of writing and structure. So let's have you start by introducing yourself. What's your name and where are you from? Mm -hmm. My name is Sofia and I'm from Russia. And Sofia, you're also a graduate student in the Teaching mm -hmm. English as a Second Language program here. Um, what made you choose SESU? Um, I have to say that I have a lot of reasons for this decision. First of all, of course, um, I looked at curriculum and classes that were offered, and St. Cloud State University offered some unique classes for TESOL program that were offered only in few other universities. So, and then I read about professors, and I was so impressed by teaching achievements that our professors have in the English department. And uh, also, of course, um, opportunities to teach, like the one that I'm doing now in IEC, that was very attractive for me. Um, second set of reasons, I would say it's a um, vibrant uh, community life and uh, student organizations. There are so many of them. Mm -hmm. And then SCSU hosts a lot of interesting events throughout the year. And so that was number two. And number three, it's unique location. I'm talking about uh, nature and art at the same time because mm, so they say that Minnesota is a state of 10,000 lakes mm -hmm. and I had an opportunity to enjoy uh, outdoor sports and that's important for me and then uh, Twin Cities offers so many different events throughout the year festivals and fairs and then there are so many museums so I could say that studying here is just a very interesting interesting place study. Yes, those are all good reasons. Um, SCSU has a lot of strong programs. Um, there's tons of way to get involved on campus mm -hmm. and the, our location is great. There's always something to do, um, yeah. whether it's outdoors or like yeah. you said in museums. Mm -hmm. um, but what made you want to teach English? Um, I guess my experience, my own experience as an English language learner, because mm -hmm. for me English just changed my life. I was able to work in a big international company back in Russia and I talked with people from all over the world and English made it possible. Mm -hmm. So and I, I am happy to open these doors of possibilities and opportunities and extraordinary life for mm -hmm. other students. Mm -hmm. And what advice do you have for someone just starting to learn English? Mm -hmm. I would give something, advice, something that I did as an English language learner. Uh, find your passion. Find something that you really enjoy and like. For example, uh, watching movies. For me, that was my key to uh, learn English. I remember I started to watch uh, such movies and TV series as Dexter, I don't know if you <laughs> watched this one or not, or um, Doctor House. And yeah. it was so difficult at the beginning, but then with time, I worked on my vocabulary and pronunciation and listening skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, second step of my advice is, um, do it every day mm -hmm. and then if you do it every day if you like it it's going to be not only it's going to be easy for you mm -hmm. easy and you will see great results yeah and that's really good advice especially um, your last tip with consistency mm -hmm. um, really helps you build your skills um, yeah. so just to learn a little bit more about you outside of teaching uh, you said that you like the outdoors and then mm -hmm. watching those movies and shows so yeah. what other kind of stuff do you like to do what hobbies do you have I really like cooking and when I have time, I don't have time um, every day to do that, but I like actually to find some YouTube video with some fancy recipe and try to do it myself, mm -hmm. but um, this is not for every day. Uh, every day I read two hours approximately in English just to work, still work on vocabulary and uh, just fluency in reading and then I go to gym every day. This mm -hmm. is all the time that I have. Wow, well, it sounds like you keep busy outside of classes and everything. And sounds like you have fun in Minnesota here, yes, so I'm really yes, glad to hear that. Um, so thank you for joining us today. Um, it was fun talking to you and learning more about you, and we hope that you learn something about another one of our teachers here in the program. Mm -hmm. um, as always, if you have any questions about the program or our application process, you can contact us through email or any of our social media, and all that contact information will be in our description box below. So. Thank you for viewing today. Thank you.